<laughs> this is Desmond Tutu hearing the news that Nelson Mandela would soon be released. He was seldom one to contain his feelings. It, it just triggered me off. This Tutu's response as head of South Africa's Truth and Reconciliation Commission on hearing details of atrocities committed by both sides. If apartheid is not dismantled, then we are going to have a bloodbath. Desmond Mpilo Tutu was born in a mining town outside Johannesburg at a time of strict segregation. Things would get much worse as he grew up. Tutu was 17 when the National Party came to power in 1948. Racial inequality became law, apartheid. He'd wanted to be a doctor, but became a teacher instead, witnessing firsthand the government's policy of depriving black South Africans of education, consigning them to servitude, and the protests that followed, like the Sharpeville massacre in 1960. 69 people were killed and most of them were shot in the back as they were running away, protesting against the past laws. I remember it as a, as a moment when um, you realized uh, that black life was cheap. Tutu must have thought he could do more in the church. He joined the clergy, eventually obtaining high Anglican office as Dean of Johannesburg and later Archbishop of Cape Town. It propelled him into the public eye as an unflinching moral voice. Why our struggle is going to succeed is not just because of numbers. Our struggle is going to succeed because it is a just struggle. By 1984, Desmond Tutu had won global admiration. He was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize. It was the kind of recognition that South Africa's anti-apartheid movement needed to become a global force. For a very, very long time, I, I did hope that uh, the world would, would hear our plea. And that is why we urge the world to apply sanctions. Archbishop Desmond Tutu was one of the world's foremost human rights campaigners, an active member of the elders in the cause of world peace, remembered as much for his unremitting optimism and infectious <laughs> laugh. When he introduced Nelson Mandela as South Africa's new president in 1994, Tutu recalled that he whispered to God, if I die now, it would be almost the perfect moment. Someone up there must really have been on our side or, or betting for us. When Mandela died, many worried that South Africa had lost its moral compass. They may now wonder whether it's lost its guiding light.